Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and yep, and on the weekend, of course, uh, uh and this is this, the Batman review marathon has begun, and, you know, for the weekend, and, you know, for this coming week, uh, you know, this starting with, you know, the first Batman movie, so, you know, so that's right, you read the title, I am reviewing the Batman movie serials from the 1940s, 1943 and 1949, and, um, actually, let's, uh, like I've done this before, let's do this in black and white once again. Yep, so, <laughs> my, uh, trying, you know, I, I think it was an okay snap I did, but, you know, here we, okay, so now it's in black and white to go for the theme and, the, you know, the setting, so, yep. So, the Batman movie serial, um, you know what, because, because this was from the 1940s and this was, you know, and, the, you know, back when, like, movie serials happened, you know, people went to the theaters, you know, to watch episodes or stuff like that, and, um, yeah, and, well, of course, can't deny the fact that, you know what, because this is the debut of Batman being in live action, of course, Lewis Wilson, who plays Batman slash Bruce Wayne, and Douglas Croft, who plays Robin slash Dick Grayson, uh, and another thing is, there was no Batmobile, like, Batman first started off driving a, a Cadillac, but here's the thing, when the comics started, you know, when the Batman comics started, I should say, well, uh, Batman always, you know, Batman, well, he didn't start, he didn't start having a Batmobile, he just drove a regular car, but as the comics proceeded, he then started having a Batmobile, he built one and such. Um, and you know what, the costuming in this, and with the production it had, like, you know what, the Batman, the Batman costume is not that bad, and it's, like, captures, like, say, what, how it looked in the comics. Um, and, like, say, uh, there was a, we had, we, of course, had an Alfred Pennyworth, and if I recall, we, maybe we had a Commissioner Gordon in the first Batman movie serial, I don't know, but William Austin played Alfred Pennyworth, I'm looking at it on the tablet, and also, there was no, like, the villain, like, the main villain for, like, say, the movie serial as well, there was no, there was no, say, Joker, Penguin, it was like they had original villains, like, that they, that they made for the move for the Batman movie serials. In this one, it was a, it was an evil uh, Japanese guy, and, well, this was during the time, of course, of, because this was in the 1940s and World War II, so, you know... And one thing, like, I, uh, that this, like, this Japanese guy does, like, he, like, has people turn into zombies, and has, has, has them be his own army, is his, his army of zombies. That's kind of weird, but, you know. Um, and especially, like, the costuming for, like, say, Robin, well, for, for one thing, the mask, like, it just entirely covered his face. It, it was like, I think as my dad described it, it was like a, like a masquerade mask, you know, yeah, I'd say so, but anyways. Uh, God, even at times when, like, in the movie serials, like in this one, and, um, in, of course, the 1949, because I think I'm, like, gonna go back and forth talking about these. Like, for the, uh, 19, like, 49, uh, movie serial, uh, the second one, the second Batman movie serial, I should say, uh, we had our second Batman, and Robert Lowry played Batman, and Johnny Duncan played Robin, and we, of course, had a... Commissioner Gordon in this. We also had a Vicky Vale. Uh, if I recall, like, Vicky Vale had been in the comics, like, you know, and thus we'd had a Vicky Vale, like, in the Tim Burton's Batman film. Um, and also, we all, we, of course, had a Alfred Pennyworth, of course, and the villain in, in the second Batman movie serial in 1949 was, was a wizard. Like, I looked it up, and I believe, like, he's called the, the Invisible Wizard, it's so all dressed in black and, like, you know, eyes showing. Just an interesting villain, I should say. And the way he talks, like, he kind of talks normal and such, you know? Doesn't have, like, a, a voice to him, you know what I'm saying? An evil kind of voice, but, yeah. Even, like, say, like, the hint, like, the the two villains of the two Batman movie serials, they're henchmen, like, they're, they're men. Like, it's just guys in suits and hats, you know what I'm saying? Like, gangsters. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, but um, what can I say? This was in night. This was in the nineteen forties, and the production it had. So you know, and how they did Batman in live action to begin with, um, and still drove a Cadillac. You know, Batman still drove a regular car and not a Batmobile. Um, and the costuming in the nineteen forty nine Batman movie serial. Oh God, like 
Batman's costume, like, uh, the ears were not right, the, the logo, the bat logo on his chest was not right at all, just, God, to think that was after, uh, the first Batman were, the first Batman with Lewis Wilson, that, Lewis Wilson's Batman costume looked accurate and looked a lot cool and better, you know, unlike, say, Robert Lowry's, I mean, no hard feelings, just, you know, um, yeah, and, uh, I guess, you know, the Batman movie serial is okay for its time, and when I was, when I was watching some of, some of the episodes, it was okay, like, you know, I didn't, like, get bored or anything like that, you know, um, it's fine for its time, and boy, how do I rate this? That is a very, very, very good question. Oh, boy, do I want to give it a 10 out of 10, or... Well, I'll give it, you know what, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Why not? 7 out of 10 stars. I respect for how, for, for what it is, and like, because this was in the 1940s and such, and let's face it, uh, if many people may not know these two Batmans, but only like, say, the hardcore Batman fans do. But of course, most notably, they would, they would, they would know, say, Adam West's Batman a lot, you know? I mean, he was one of the... He, he, Adam West's Batman 2 was one of the first Batmans as well. He was number three um, after Robert Lowry and Lewis, and Lewis Wilson. <clears throat> so, and yep, very soon, of course, I'm reviewing uh, something of, of Adam West's Batman. So stay tuned for that. So again, 7 out of 10 for the two Batman movie serials, 1943, Lewis Wilson, and 1949, Robert Lowry. They're fine, and for its time, as I said. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Batman movie serials. Uh, more reviews coming your way. They're gonna be awesome. Keep looking forward. And, of course, the Batman review marathon has begun. And stay tuned this coming Tuesday for reviewing the first Batman movie. Of course, the 1960s Batman. Stay tuned for that. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. Take care and peace out.